Beardo Benjo. Hello there everyone. Today I'm doing something slightly different within Half-Life Alex. I'm continuing with my playthrough. My playthrough is still moving at one episode per week. But today I wanted to have a little look at some of the mods available for the game. The modding community within this game is becoming ridiculous. They're really starting to warm up and some fantastic stuff is starting to come out. So I wanted to make a quick video just to highlight a few of the newest ones that have come out this week. And if it's successful and if it's something I enjoy, I might do this regularly and just drop back in and check on the mods every now and then because really they are starting to get very impressive. And I knew it would happen, but it's, it's starting to happen now. Okay, so today I'm going to be looking at four different mods in the game. I'm going to be looking at Push People Into Hell, because that sounds amazing, Antlion Arena, Head Crab Valley, and one that's hidden just down here, Tatooine Test Map. And I'm actually going to start with the Tatooine Test Map because I, I just... Why wouldn't you? I'm so very excited. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to the Tatooine Test Map. Oh, you can't fire the blaster. No! That is very cool. Okay, so I can't fire that, which is a real shame. The quality of the visuals inside this is absolutely unreal. Hello, R2. Such good quality. Both of these little droids look amazing. Wow. Okay, can I can I do this? <laughs> oh. Hey R2. How you doing? Just cut you in half. You should be dead now. This is really nice. Can I can I kill these guys? Even these, the models are fantastic. I don't know why they're doing this dance. I'm not angry about it. I'm just I'm just bemused. Can I Okay, I can't kill you. Which is a real shame. I'd like to kill you because I want to stop this madness. What about this combine? Can I kill him? Oh my god! <laughs> That's what you get! So, this is a very small test map they've built to kind of replicate a Tatooine area. Um, there's not a huge amount to it, it really is just a showcase for the models and how well they look and how kind of just great they are inside this VR space. But someone could make this into something very, very special. I love this lightsaber. I'm going to throw it, though, because it's making noises. This could be expanded upon into something fantastic. I don't know if I can go in here. Let's have a little look. Let's zip over here real quick. Oh, it looks like it's... Okay. Oh, yeah. See, look. Oh, it's brilliant. Don't, please. I don't have a, I haven't got a gun. Uh, look, I'm innocent. I am not above the legal aggression threshold. I'm not even doing anything. No. Right, let's go quickly up here. Massive respect to the person that's put this together. It's very, very cool. It is a little... I guess kind of hollow. There's not a huge amount you can actually do in it, but it's just nice to be able to see these models inside this world and get up close and personal with them. Um, yeah, just very, very impressive. Maybe the point is to kill all of these guys with one grenade. I just want to get close to this. But they're guarding it, so I can't. Hey, how you going? You can piss off. Ah! Oh, it's very cool. There's not a lot to do in here, but if you're a Star Wars fan and you don't mind getting killed very quickly, definitely come and check this out in Half-Life Alex. It is just a test map at the moment. Ooh, there's no real point to it outside of just coming in and having a look, but it's definitely worth 5, 10, 15 minutes just to walk around and see, and see what they've built here because it's very impressive. I need my lightsaber. Use the force. Please. Exactly. What? Did you shoot that out of my hand? Oh, you did. 
Stop shooting out. Oh, oh I'm dead. Very, very cool. Now there's a grenade. Okay, so that was the Tatooine test map. Now this is push people into hell, which is fairly straightforward, I assume. I can pick my screams. I've got the Wilhelm scream. Let's have a look. I guess I won't know until I push someone. Let's go Wilhelm scream. Um, who do I want to push into hell? Um, oh, oh, this is tough. Let's let's push let's push Russell into hell first. I don't dislike Russell. I, I like Russell, but let's push him. Let's push him into hell. Can I put some music on? Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, Russell, you've been um, a fairly amazing companion. Very funny. You bring levity to the journey. But uh, I, I feel like it's time for you to, you know, um, go to hell. So this is a fairly straightforward mod, um, and I, I guess it's just there for kind of stress relief. Let's try the Howie scream, not one I'm particularly... I haven't met Jeff yet. I'm not going to click that button. I want it to be a surprise. Um, I'm not particularly sure what Howie is. Let's try it with a grunt. Why, well, you... I don't even need to monologue at you. You're just going to hell. Yes, that is, that is the Howie scream. A classic scream, synonymous with pain. Um, let's try the ah scream. Um, G-Man, not seen you yet. Oh, look at him! What a handsome devil. Look at that hair. Look at the look at the. Oh, oh. I was I was just looking at his hair. I wasn't. I'll I'll bring him back. Look, can I? Can I, I don't want to push you the hair. I want to want to grab you. I want to stop you. That's it. That's it. I don't want you to go in there. G-Man, I don't want you to go to hell. I don't... G-Man, look at me. G-Man, stop what you... I don't know what you're doing with your body, but please stop it. G-Man, I want to look at your hair. Look at that hair. It's incredible. Sadly, though, I think there's nothing I can do to stop you now from from going to hell. Oh, okay. You you survived. Oh. 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 What are you doing? It's like you're being pulled by a, by a force that you can't control. Come on. Let's just get... Come on. Let's get you to hell. Come on. Come on. Oh, stop. Get, get you to go in there. Go to hell. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Can I throw myself into hell? Oh, I can't. I was so excited then. This is Push People Into Hell, another small mod built inside Half-Life Alex. A little bit more freeform. Not a huge amount to it. It really is just pushing people into hell. Okay, welcome to Head Crab Valley. Um, I assume... Much like the name says, it's just a place filled with head crabs, and you just shoot them. Let's 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 find out. Oh, I can see some. There's freaking hundreds of them. I say hundreds. There's one, two, three, four. I saw another one over there. At least five. So that's basically hundreds. Left. Well, this one's straightforward. It's just like a shooting gallery. Oh. Shit. Oh, no. I guess if you were kind of really scared of these things, you could just come in here and... Uh oh fight that phobia. You dick. Ow. Yeah, very simple this. Um, it really is just shooting head crabs over and over again. Hello. Mm-hmm. I think I've seen enough of Headcrab Valley. It's fairly kind of low quality, this one, compared to the other stuff I've seen. And you really just come in here and you, you just you just fight headcrabs. I do wonder if you can climb up there, though. Should we just see? Should we see if we can climb up here? Let's see if we can climb up here, shall we? 
Might be able to. Hello. Oh. Invisible wall. Ah. Don't think I can. Invisible walls. Lovely. Lovely. Invisible walls. Okay, that's enough of Headcrab Valley. Uh, very simple. You just come and shoot headcrabs. Okay, welcome to Ant Lion Arena. Now, this one is a little bit more fleshed out, so you've even got a graphics performance here, so vanilla, good, and maximum. So if I pull maximum, then I guess it will look the best. Um, Ant Lion Troopers. Easy, normal, hard, super hard. Let's go normal. Okay, so normal difficulty, best visuals. Let's go fight some antlions. This is nice. Kind of equips you with a thousand resin straight away so you can upgrade all your guns before you go in and start fighting all these antlions. Lovely. Um, well, I want to keep upgrading it. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's just upgrade this gun. And then I'll just, I'll just roll with that. Oh, okay. Uh... It's a fairly spooky facility. Uh, what happens if what happens if I pull that lever? Nothing, seemingly. Oh! <laughs> That's just cruel, but it is funny. Um, okay, dead zombies, dead zombies, dead zombies, dead. It looks a bit like G-Man, but it's a kind of a knockoff version. Uh, where, where is my ammo? Let me go, right. Oh. So what do we do now? Do we just... Hey guys! I'm here. When do the... When do the ant lines attack? What is that? Oh yeah, let's get these going. Let's get the drones going. Oh, here they come. Oh my god, it's like Starship Troopers. Oh my. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. Don't mind me, lads. Just just reload him. I guess that's it. What's down here? What's this for? I don't know what thi this is for. Maybe a planned expansion or something? This is really cool. Um, it just turns the game into a wave-based shooter. Um, kind of a shooting gallery. It's really nice. Nicely made. You've got unlimited ammo, so there's no danger of kind of not being able to continue to have fun. It's genuinely decent if you just want to shoot stuff. This is definitely worth checking out. Very cool. Okay, so I was really enjoying myself playing these mods, um, and I decided to play one more today. This one's called Combine House, um, and I believe it's just a house filled with Combine, which is, you know, fairly straightforward. Let's go kill some. Ooh. Where you going, mate? Hey, where you going? We left. This is cool. The potential to make Ooh, fully realized games within this, within these mod tools, is absolutely un 
unrivaled. And I cannot wait to see. Oh my god. He's going for some. I cannot wait to see what people... Oh no, what people do with this as the weeks roll on and the months roll on. Because as I say, when the game was still pretty much brand new, there wasn't a huge amount on the mods, uh, on the mod scene, on the workshop. But uh, it's been out for a little while now, and it's really starting to pick up, and there's some fantastic stuff starting to show up. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited to see what people can do with these tools, because they're very, very well realised and very, very well fleshed out. Oh, I died. I didn't survive in the Combine House, but I want to, so I'm going to go again. <laughs> Much better. That guy really wants me dead. Too bad he's dead. This is... Oh, hello. Sorry, mate. Yeah, these things happen. Last three. You little shit, I knew something was around there. So, I mean, a lot of them are just kind of like this. You're just going through an environment killing stuff, and that's that's, that's fine. It's, it's a good way to showcase how good the game's combat is. And it's just nice to be able to play around within new environments. Because the game's amazing, and having more of it is always going to be a good thing. And when you give the tools to creative people, they're always going to make amazing stuff with it, and they're always going to be able to impress you. Um, and so far, I'm just consistently blown away by the mods in this game. I did play the PT mod as well, um, which was very, very impressive. Hello? Shit. Are you quite done? You are now. I mean, this is quite simplistic. But, you know, someone's built an environment that I can walk around in and I can, I can fight Combine in, and that's... that's all right by me. Okay, up we go. How big is this Combine House? I like the name Combine House. Like It's like a little frat house where they all hang out and share stories. That's a big gun. Not as big as my grenade, though. Combine. They've been here the whole time, Alex. Are you just now realising? One in there. <laughs> it's just a great way to showcase the stuff this game can do. Oh, you're in the way of the drawer. There could be something good in there. Okay, well, I'll just have to have to assume there's not. Oh, there's a dead rat. Ugh. That's not nice. That is my favourite thing in this game. Open a door, throw a grenade in. How are you alive? You're not now. That is a terrifying Garfield cock. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. The size of PC. One is massive. Okay. Where to now? I haven't been in this one. Get my grenade out. Piss off. Got a health slow. How are they surviving? Close to dying. Might not make it through Combine House. Did 
dead? Oh yeah, definitely dead. Nice. Hey. At this point, I don't need ammo. I would just love a healing injection, please. Oh my god. So much ammo. Come on, this has got to be the top floor now. How are you not dead? There you are now. How in the hell did he survive that? Oh. What was that? Wait, what? I think it locked me out of the room that I'm supposed to be in, fighting stuff. Yeah, there's stuff going on in there, but uh, I'm not part of that party. Guys, can I, can I come in, please? No? That's a real shame. I would have liked to be in there killing stuff, but uh, I'm, I'm locked outside for reasons. Um, I think that might be the end of this. Please. I just want to come in and kill some monsters. Please. <laughs> I know you're in there. Bollocks.